Hey everybody and welcome to Functional Fitness. In this recording I'm going to be talking about why you should be doing squats. Ah, squats. I'll tell you what. I've had a love-hate relationship with squats for years now. It is probably by far the hardest, most complex exercise you can do in the gym. I dare say the main reason squats are so very hated and often avoided by many is, be is simply because they are hard. You have a weight on your back that literally wants to mash you into the floor and squatting the weight requires you to defy gravity. This is of course what makes you stronger. For years now people have tried all sorts of ways to substitute the squat with other exercises like the leg press, hip sled, and leg extensions. I'm willing to admit that I was one of those people. I hated squats and I invested a lot of time researching other exercises in order to replace squats. But the reality is there is no replacement for squatting. And if you want to become the best physical version of yourself, you have to squat. So you might be wondering, why can't I just use the leg press for building leg strength? Well, the problem with the leg press is it doesn't use your legs in their natural state. In the real world, your legs will rarely be under load without involving the rest of your body. The leg press also does not train your body to move through space under tension. Squatting trains your body to be able to function better for everyday work at your job and your overall mobility as you get older. Ask yourself, what is the most common problems as we age? We have trouble sitting down, getting up out of a chair, and even walking. This is due to muscle atrophy over years of neglecting these very important muscles. If you're here to simply look pretty and have nice arms, you probably won't be interested in much I have to say. If you're looking to get in better shape so that you're able to get around when you're older and to be able to stand up on your own without assistance and carry on with daily tasks, this is the place for you. I say all of this because strength training is hard work. It's going to require you to be a little uncomfortable. It's going to require you to push yourself in order to grow stronger. If what you are currently doing is easy, you aren't accomplishing anything. Getting stronger requires you to consistently push against an ever-increasing resistance. Now, in no way am I delusional in thinking that this is some kind of magic solution to avoiding the aging process. We will all get old and we will die. I'm sorry, <laughs> that is just the natural order of things. But strength training will help us in our physical independence and mobility as we age so that if we are fortunate enough to live to say 100 years old, we can still walk around on our own. So as I close this message, I invite you to join me in this movement on developing a better, stronger you. All right, thank you everybody.